Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install Python on your Windows 7 machine. The first thing you need is to make sure that you are an administrator. To do that, you go to the Start menu and select Control Panel, and click on User Accounts and Family Safety, and then click on User Accounts again. And over here, it should say your user ID, mine happens to be student, and under that it should say administrator. If it says administrator, you're in good shape, you're an administrator. If it doesn't, you're going to have to get somebody else to install Python on your machine for you who does have administrative rights. So, uh, the other thing you need to know is whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit machine. If you go to the Start menu again and click on Control Panel, and click on System and Security, and then um, under system, view amount of RAM and processor speed. It'll tell you basic information and then it'll say system. And this says I have a 32-bit operating system, so remember that. Okay, now you want to go to python.org. There's the python.org website. And on python.org, um, you want to go to download. And from download, it says there's other stuff. We don't want that. Download Python. Okay. The current versions of Python are 2.7.2 and 3.2.1. We want version 2.7. And we want version 2.7. We're going to get 2.7.2. That's the most recent version of 2.7. We want the Windows installer. And we want it for a Windows 32-bit. So I'm going to do this one, not the 64. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, and I like to save first, so I'm going to say please save, and it asks me where I want to save, I like to, oops, not on there, here we go, let's save, and now it's just going to start to download, it's pretty quick. And once it's done, in one minute, it should give us the option to run it. Oh, make sure this close this dialog box when download completes is not checked, because I want this to be open after it downloads. And here we go. And now I can choose run. And yes, I want to run it. I want to install it for all users. And it says, where do you want to install it? I'm just going to let it install in the default location. And I'm going to accept all of the defaults. And then it starts to install. It takes a little while, so I'm going to pause for now. Oops, what you didn't see was it asked me if I wanted to uh, install this on my machine. And I said, yes, of course I do. OK, and when it's done, it says completing the installer. You can say finish. And now, if you want to make sure that it really installed OK, what you can do is you can go to the Start menu. And so you want to start all programs. And you should be able to find, there we go, Python 2.7. And in there, you want to start idle Python GUI. This is just a test. We'll pop up a window in a minute. There we go. Let me shrink that window a bit. And now you can tell it to do some math. So you can say, what's well, 8 minus 2 plus 5? And hit enter, and it tells us that's 11. So we've got Python 2.7.2 installed on our Windows 7 machine. Fantastic. OK, I'm going to show you how to install Pi Serial now on your Windows 7 machine. Um, Easiest way to get there is to go to Google and type Pi Serial, P Y S E R I A L, and then we'll type download. And we'll take this first one, which is pyserial.sourceforge.net. There you go, pyserial.sourceforge.net is where we ended up. And you can go to the download pages. Now, we want to download the um, PySerial 2.5 version. We want to get the, the 2.5 because that's the most recent. And we don't want the source. We want the Windows installer. So we'll click on this. And we have Python 2.x. I installed two, Python 2.7 a minute ago on my machine, so I want to use PySerial 2.5. Click on that to download it. 
I like to save my downloads first and I'll just save it here in my temp folder. Downloads very quickly. Uh, make sure that this close this dialog box when download completes wasn't actually checked because I now I want to say run it. And yep, run. And I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. I'm just going to say next. And it says where do you want to do it? I have Python 2.7. Yep. And next, install. Click the finish to exit the setup wizard. So I'll say finish. And magic, we're done. You've got Pi Serial installed. Okay, so we're going to finish downloading the firmware upgrade. Already we've got Python installed in Pi Serial. So now we finally can install the Python the firmware upgrade. You go to this URL again, calicoproject.org slash firmware upgrade. And when you're there it says download upgrade.py. Well if you click on this, there's a good chance it's going to look like this mess, which is not what you want. So go back. So what you need to do is you need to right click on this and say save target as. And I'm going to put it if I go to C users, you put it wherever you like. You have to put it somewhere that you like to keep stuff that's special. I have a folder called My Special Programs where I put Calico and I'm going to save it here. So it's downloading it and um, again make sure this close this dialog box isn't checked um, and I'm going to say open folder so it's going to show me that location and here it is this is the upgrade tool now what you can do is just like with Calico you can make a shortcut to it so I'm just going to right click on it and drag it up here onto my desktop and I'll say create shortcut here and now I've got an upgrade shortcut. And now you want to upgrade your robot. You make sure your robot's turned on. Oops, I just turned mine off. Let's turn it on. And you need to have already um, connected your robot up to Bluetooth. Um, I showed you how to do that in a different video. So let's double click on this upgrade shortcut. And it brings up the black window for a minute. What you need to do is, first thing you need to do is upgrade your Fluke. So click on Upgrade Fluke and type the COM port that you found um, when you initially set up your uh, Scribbler. If you can't remember what the COM port was, if you go to Start and either inside of the Control Panel select Devices and Printers or out here we can say Devices and Printers. And in a minute you'll see, come on, here we go, there's my IPRI device with the serial number that's the same serial number as on the uh, on the little serial code here. If I right click on this and say properties it'll pop up the properties and under services it'll tell me the COM port. So I'm on COM3. So let's close that and close that and in this area we'll type COM3 and then I'll click on upgrade and if you actually look at the scribbler now you'll see this little light is flashing away and actually if you open that black window up again you'll see it gives you a a progress report of what's going on so you just kind of watch that and the numbers get bigger and bigger and um, the little light is flashing here so we know bluetooth communicating and it's going to take a little while for this upgrade to complete so I'm just going to pause while that's upgrading. Okay. Eventually, you get a message that says, waiting for reboot, done upgrading, please turn your robot off and then back on. And now we get all those percentage marks up here. So let's turn our robot off. And let's turn our robot back on. Good. And now we can upgrade the Scribbler. So I will click on Upgrade Scribbler and select Upgrade. Oops. And it didn't work. I think maybe I need to quit first since I upgraded my Fluke. So let's quit from here. Let's turn my robot off. Turn the robot on again. Let's restart the upgrade tool. 
Here we go. And we want to upgrade the scribbler again. I'm still on COM3. And I'll say upgrade. And actually, if you look, well, if you'd been watching, you would have seen this flash. You can see it a little bit. Now, on this particular um, scribbler that I have, it says considering this, considering this, but no, nothing to upgrade. It's up to date. On your scribbler, if it's, if it's um, not upgraded, it will tell you it needs it. So there you go. We've installed the upgrade tool and upgraded our robot and our fluke.